I've got some questions for you, Woolchuck. Give it to me. I got some questions. I got some cowboy questions for you. You guys, here we go. You know, this is the second time, Woolchuck, that we've heard Kellen Moore says he needs to get the ball to Michael Gallup. Mm -hmm. He needs to get more involved. Is that on Michael Gallup or is that on Kellen Moore? Okay, this is fascinating, and and this might not be the answer that you want to hear. I'll take any answer you got. But I think it's on both. Oh, Woolchuck. Right. But I think that that is the right answer here, Brian, because one, I don't think that Michael Gallup is doing a great job of getting open. But I text in with a better answer than Wolchek just gave. Okay, but I don't think that <laughs> Kellen Moore does a great job of ever consistently designing plays that help yeah. his receivers to get open or creating. He tried for to get. He tried to get Daryl Brown open. Right. He and, tried, and we have seen like the Indianapolis game comes to mind, and in the first half yeah. against Jacksonville, and then Jacksonville did a good job of correcting and finally doubling C.D. Lamb. But that's been a critique of Kellen Moore, and I've talked with other players about this just to see, like, all right, is is, is what I'm seeing yeah. also in line with what you've what what you played for under him, and what you're seeing as well. And it is true, like that is a knock on Kellen Moore's offense is he doesn't necessarily go ahead and always scheme things up that match the skill set of his players. So I do think some of that is on Kellen, but I also don't think right now Michael Gallup is playing with confidence to where he is he is really getting open at a consistent yeah. rate either. Yeah, I think that's I think I think is as critical as I could be of Kellen Moore. I think Jerry was a little critical of Kellen Moore this morning because Jerry wasn't against going for it on that third and ten. I think what he was against was the fact that they didn't use Michael Gallup on that play to go make it a fifty fifty ball. And Jerry, it's, I mean, it's kind of like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to second guess, but in a way, you kind of were second guessing, like, okay, I don't want to second guess you, but why in the hell did you not have Michael Gallup going up and getting that ball? So I don't know. And, okay, so just to not ride the fence, I'll, no, I'll no, put it no, more I, on Kellen. No, no, I, but I, I do I, think I'm Michael Gallup needs you. to do a better job. Yeah, I, I think Michael Gallup needs to do a better job myself. And and I and I, that still doesn't wash. And you're right, still doesn't wash the hands of Kellen Moore, or you know, for what he's done. But I kind of feel like that, man, you know, you've seen CeeDee Lamb, and, and maybe the lack of confidence right now is what you're talking about is actually true. But I'd like to see him get more involved. All right. Wolchuk. Brian? Front office and coaches have confidence in this linebacker group without El, uh, Leighton Van Der Esch. Where are you? I don't. Yeah. I think there's a lot of questions. Yeah. Because Damone Clark, I think, has a lot of upside. Hadn't been playing great, though. But he did not play well against Jacksonville. Um, And and I think that there's reasons to be optimistic about the future, but he is still a rookie, you know? So, for me, he's still trying to figure things out and grow and get better game by game. Jabril Cox is a guy I think very highly of, but that's a big question mark. There's a reason they haven't been playing him. Yeah. You know they've got they've got questions on his ability. Luke Gifford is a special teams guy. Anthony Barr was good in like short area the goal line stuff. Anthony Barr to me is a situational type of player. Yeah, exactly. You know if you want to play him in goal line packages, Anthony Barr is great as a veteran leadership type of player. But you know if you need to play him in in situations where teams are schematically able to get him in space and coverage. I think he can be a liability for you there. I don't think he's running particularly well at this stage in his career. I said that yesterday. So, yeah. no, I think Leighton Vander Esch, is he the best linebacker in football? Absolutely not. But I think he's covered up a lot for you in that level. Totally agree with you on that. How about this one? Is there really a competition at left corner? Or is Nashawn Wright that guy? I think there really is a, com- a competition. Okay. Uh, I-, I do think that Dan Quinn's going to say let the best man win. Now, I think Nashawn Wright is better than Kelvin Joseph. I felt that way when we left Oxnard. But they go with, hey, we drafted Kelvin Joseph in the second round. We're going to give Kelvin Joseph an opportunity. Rightly so. Let him go out there and, and, and let's see what you got in him. You you graded him. You drafted him. You're developing him. They've hit on a lot of picks. Kelvin Joseph's not one. I, I've seen about enough that I need to see from Kelvin Joseph. I think that's a bust. I don't think Kelvin Joseph is good. And I don't feel bad saying it. I don't think he's a I don't think he's a good football player. I'm putting I'm putting Alexander in at nickel corner. 
and I'm playing Deron Bland at, at the cornerback spot. And I'm fine with seeing how that goes because Deron Bland is they they found a gem there. That's a guy that they uh, hit give on. Give me give me the guy give me the guy who's ever had the best game. I mean Nick Eatman was talking about that this morning as well. It's like give me the corner who you've signed that's had the best best games and go with that guy. But to me, putting Alexander a veteran, he, that's what he is. He's a nickel slot player. He's pretty aggressive. Play him at the corner and then put Bland to the outside. That might be the best thing that you need to uh, think about. To here. This day. All right, my final question for you here, real quick. I have no problem with Jalen Hurts being out. Winning against their best to me is a myth. All that matters is winning. How do you feel about that? I agree. You've got to go out there and beat the Eagles, or else this thing can really start to snowball on you. You know, you don't want to be playing bat your worst football and start. You're wounded. You're banged up. I think Gardner Minshew is a capable player. They still have sure. a ton of weapons on offense that are going to give you problems. They can run the football. They've yeah. got a good offensive line with Miles Sanders. Sure, not having Jalen Hurts. That's going to be an excuse and a reason for them to get behind. You didn't have Cooper Rush yeah. in that first game. They didn't care. Nick Sirianni still jumping up and down like they just won the damn Super Bowl. It didn't matter when they beat you with a backup quarterback. It shouldn't matter when you beat the crap out of them with a backup quarterback. you got to go out there and play your best damn football and get a divisional victory and get win number 11. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that, man. To me, I, I, I don't care. Nobody feels sorry for you, but I don't care if you have your best players or not. Winning is winning. However it happens, just do it. I don't... I don't have to play against your best. I'm not looking for that as a measuring stick. So I'm with you, man. Thanks for asking, answering my questions. Appreciate you. Man. Thank you. Brought the heat today, brother. 